four columns. Age, which is going to start at 20. Balance, which is going to start at zero. Investment, and end of year total. Four columns. We would like to go from age 20 to age 65. If I use a formula equals box A2, so the box above me, plus 1, that formula says add 1 to the box above me. If I copy that formula, click in the next box, hold down the shift key, and then while holding down the shift key, press the down arrow. I can highlight a bunch of boxes at once, edit, paste. I've gone one box too far, so I'm going to delete that one. That formula that says add one to the box above me now has all of the numbers in order from 20 to 65. Column C, investment. I said we're going to have an investment of 6000 each year until we reach age 50. End of year total is going to be what was the balance at the beginning of the year. So equals box B2 plus what investment did I make? Box C2. Balance. If we have a 5% interest on our total at the end of the year, that will mean that my balance at the beginning of the next year equals last year's box D2 times 100% plus 5 more percent. So times 105%. Now I'm going to copy 6,000. I'm going to copy this formula. Next box down, and the formula once again is saying add the two boxes next to me. I want this process to repeat all the way down the page. So I'm clicking here, holding the shift key down, pressing the right arrow so I can highlight all three of these boxes, copy what's in them, hold down the shift key. Let me go all the way down the page and paste. Now this is what happens if we have a $6,000 investment into an account that grows at a 5% interest. If we put $6,000 into the account every year. Now I did say at a certain point at age 50 we want to start changing that investment to $7,000. So I'm going to change this. And then I'm going to copy that and paste it from 50 to 65, $7,000 as the investment from that point forward. That's it for the table. If you want to, you can click on column B, click on the dollar bill, that'll change B and any any column that uses a formula that includes B into money. It'll look a little cleaner. Second part, you need to make a graph. You want columns A, hold down the shift key, and columns B. So I clicked on column A, shift, hold it down, column B. Insert, chart. They're going to make a guess about the type of chart I want. This is pretty nice. I actually asked for it to be a scatter plot. This is a, this is a line plot. So I'm going to switch that to scatter. And it'll just be dots instead of a line. That's a graph. Finally, you were supposed to write 
a few things that you noticed, a few things that you wondered. I'm going to share my favorites from what I saw. 